and welcome to my crochet channel. Today's video is our sixth pattern in our Country Christmas pattern series. In our Country Christmas series of crochet patterns, we have stitched up a country star, a country Christmas tree, a country heart, and a country bell. And we've also stitched up a country angel hot pad. And so today's video is our sixth crochet pattern in our country Christmas series. And this is our country Christmas doily. Now this one is made in two different colors. You can use acrylic or cotton depending on what you're going to use this doily for. And we'll talk more about yarns in just a second. The doily measures 12 inches across and is the perfect size for maybe setting that bread basket on the table or a candy dish of peppermints. Now you can find this crochet pattern along with the link for the other five down in the notes underneath this video. To make your country Christmas doily, you're going to need about two ounces of any medium weight number four yarn. This one is made with two different colors, the red and the green of I Love This Cotton. For today's demonstration, we're going to be using the sugar and cream holiday stripes that we've been using for our series, but you can even use an acrylic I think some of those sparkle yarns would be beautiful for this doily. Just remember, if you're going to use an acrylic yarn, you don't want to place anything hot on this doily. We'll be stitching today with our eye hook. It is a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. You'll need a needle just to weave in your ends and of course, your handy dandy scissors. We'll be starting our doily from the center and then working our way out. We're going to begin with our slip knot and we're going to chain five chains. We're going to join this chain five into a circle. So we'll put the tail of yarn over our hook and pull it through that loop. We'll snug this down and tie that stay knot. There we go. Now we're going to be stitching around our chain five and I'll also be stitching over my tail of yarn. So I'm going to go in, pull up a loop and chain three. This chain three counts as one double crochet. So I need to stitch 11 more so I have a total of 12 double crochets. Yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, Yarn over, go through the first two, yarn over and go through the second two. I'm just going to stitch double crochets around that chain five until I have a total of 12 double crochets. And again, we're counting our chain three as our first double crochet. All right, let's see how many I have. My chain three counts is one, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I need one more. Twelve double crochets. I'm going to join to the top of that chain three with a slip stitch and chain three. I'm going to go ahead and turn this over. I'm going to gently pull on that string. There we go. And we'll use our needle just to close that hole up so it will stay put. You can always come back and do this later if you prefer. So for row one, we have 12 double crochets 
We joined to our chain three and chained three. For row two, we're going to place two double crochets in each of our 12 original double crochets. Our chain three counts as our first, so we'll place another stitch right in that same stitch as our chain three. Now we'll go to the next double crochet and stitch two double crochets. And we'll stitch two double crochets in each of those 12 double crochets. We'll work all the way around and then we'll join back to our chain three. Two double crochets in each of those double crochets around. I've stitched two double crochets in each of those 12, so I have 24 double crochets. I'm going to join to my chain three with a slip stitch and I'm going to chain four chains. This chain four counts as a double crochet chain one. Now we're going to go to the next double crochet and stitch double crochet, chain one. And this is our repeat for row three. Double crochet in the next double crochet and chain one. Double crochet in the next double crochet and chain one. We'll continue to repeat this all the way around and join back to our chain three. Double crochet in the next double crochet, chain one, and repeat. I've stitched one double crochet, chain one, in each of my 24 stitches, so I have 24 double crochets with 24 chain ones in between. We're going to join to the third chain of that beginning chain four with a slip stitch and now we're going to slip stitch in this chain one space and chain three. Now we'll place a double crochet in this same chain one space. And chain one. And so what our repeat is for row four is two double crochets in the next chain one space and chain one. Two double crochets in the next chain one space and chain one. And so what we're doing for row four is we're stitching two double crochets in each of the chain one spaces around with a chain one in between. So two double crochets in the next chain one space, chain one, and repeat all the way around. And again, we'll join back to our chain three. For row four, we stitch two double crochets in each of the chain one spaces with a chain one in between. There's my last chain one. I'm going to join to the chain three with a slip stitch and I'm going to chain three. For row five, our chain three counts is our first double crochet. We're going to double crochet in the next double crochet and chain two. One, two. Now we'll come to the next two double crochets and we'll stitch one double crochet in each of those two double crochets and chain two. And repeat. 
one double crochet in the next two double crochets and chain two. And this is our repeat for row five. One double crochet in the next two double crochets and chain two. And we'll repeat this working all the way back around and join back to our chain three. I've completed row five, one double crochet in the next two and chain two in between. At this point, you might notice that your doily is just a little bit ripply, but these next few rows as we finish will help that lay nice and pretty. All right, so here's my last chain two. I'm going to join to that chain three with a slip stitch. I'm going to slip stitch in the next double crochet and then slip stitch in the chain two space and chain three. All right, now what we're going to be doing for row six is stitching three double crochets in each of the chain two spaces with the chain one in between. All right, so we'll stitch double crochet two times and chain one. Now we'll go to the next chain two space and stitch three double crochets, one, two, three, and chain one. And to the next chain two space, one, two, three double crochets and chain one. And we'll repeat this all the way around for row six. Three double crochets in the chain two space and chain one. And we'll repeat this working all the way around and again join back to our chain three. I've completed row six stitching three double crochets in the chain two spaces with chain ones in between all the way around. Here's my chain one. I'm going to join to the top of that chain three. And now we're going to slip stitch in the two double crochets. Slip stitch in the chain two or chain one space and chain three. And for row seven, we're basically going to do the same thing we did on row six, except we're going to chain two in between our clusters of three double crochets. So our chain three counts as our first, so we'll double crochet two more times. So we'll have three double crochets in that chain one space, and then we'll chain two. Three double crochets, one, two, three, and chain two. And this is our repeat for row seven. Three double crochets in the chain one space and chain two. And again, we're going to work this all the way around our doily. all the way around and then we'll join back to the top of that chain three and then our next row is our trim and we'll be all finished. I have completed row seven stitching three double crochets in each of the chain one spaces and chain two in between all the way around my doily. We're going to join back to our chain three 
We're going to slip stitch in those two double crochets and slip stitch in the next chain two space and chain three. Now, this next row is our trim row. To stitch our trim, we're going to stitch two more double crochets in this chain two space. We're going to chain one. We're going to single crochet in the top of the middle double crochet of that next cluster of three and then chain one. All right, so this is our repeat for our trim. Three double crochets. One, two, three. In the next chain two space, we're going to chain one, single crochet, and the second double crochet of those three, and chain one, and repeat. Three double crochets, one, two, three, chain one, single crochet in that second double crochet, and chain one. And this is our beautiful trim that goes along the edge of our doily. So we're going to stitch three double crochets in the chain two space, chain one, single crochet in the second double crochet, chain one, and repeat all the way around the edge of our doily. And then we'll join back over here to our chain three and tie off. I've completed my trim all the way around three double crochets in the chain two spaces, chain one, single crochet in the center double crochet, chain one, and repeat all the way around. There's my last chain one. I'm going to join to that chain three with a slip stitch. Cut my yarn. I'm going to go from behind in the next stitch. There we go. Grab that loop and pull it to the back. That way I can tie off to the back and it looks nice and neat and tidy. So here is our country Christmas doily that we made using the holiday stripes, cotton, sugar, and cream. And then of course, the other one that we made using I Love This Cotton from Hobby Lobby. On this one, I changed colors. On this one, I just let the stripes go and it came out beautiful. The other thing I wanted to say is if you're not someone who really likes striping yarns like I do, then you can make the same doily like this one and it's still a beautiful Christmas doily. And the other thing is, you can use any colors that you want for any holiday. It doesn't have to just be Christmas. And it doesn't have to just be country. Use your imagination and have some fun with it. Mm -hmm.